Ah, uh, Buwana Yesu Asifiwe, karibu sana from whatever place you're joining us from. This is Alves Conference 2020, and I'll be your host, uh, Victor Wanjala. Um, we are going to just talk about an, aspect, uh, an attribute of Jesus Christ, uh, how he sustains us, how he takes us through each and every season of life. So what I'm here to do, I'm here to talk about Jesus Christ as our sustainer. And throughout scripture, we can see these things as examples. It has been written from the Old Testament all the way to the New Testament that only Jesus Christ can sustain. Yeah, in Paul, Paul, in his letters, he keeps on reminding us believers that if you are leaning on anything else that is not Jesus Christ for sustenance, then we are deceiving ourselves. Christ, Christ himself taught that um, he was the bread of life. He was the living waters. Uh, he was the breath of life again, and he was the light. So to mean that all these things, uh, and as science, pu uh, science puts it, uh, he's if to basic Zamaisha, Christ was everything, because he himself said that he was these things. And you could see it, that where there was darkness, he came and brought light. When people could not understand anything, again, he enlightened them. When people were thirsty, like the lady in the well, he says that I will give you waters, waters that will make you never to thirst again. When Lazarus was dead, he's able to bring him up. How? Because again, he's the breath the breath of life. So today as we, I'll ask you to join me, uh, and you're going to read from the book of Colossians, Colossians chapter 2, over 6 to 7, uh, and it says, As you therefore have received Christ Jesus, the Lord, so walk in him, rooted and built up in him, and established in the faith, as you have been taught, abounding in it with thanksgiving. Um, let's believe as I pray. Almighty and everlasting Father, precious Redeemer, King of all kings and Lord of all grace, we thank you this day, O Jehovah, dear Lord, that it has pleased you, King of all glory, to gather us in this place. We thank you that it has pleased you, O Jehovah, dear Lord, to feed us yet one more time, King of all glory. Therefore, we pray above, Father, dear Lord, that you'll open our hearts to your instruction, O King of all grace, that, Father, you will give us answers today, O Jehovah, dear Lord, that whatsoever it is that we are struggling with, O King of all glory, we declare and decree that strongholds will be broken, even in this session, O Jehovah, dear Lord, and throughout this conference, O King of all glory. We declare and decree, O Jehovah, dear Lord, that as you have said, who, you say, who you've set free, O Jehovah, is free indeed. We declare and decree that this shall be our testimony, O Jehovah, that at the end of this conference, O Jehovah, King of all glory, we shall speak of your victory, O Jehovah, dear Lord. Therefore, this morning, Lord, I step aside, O Jehovah, that you will minister to me and through me, King of all glory. I pray that, you'll for, I pray that dear Lord, you will forbid anything to get glory in this place apart from you, O Jehovah, dear Lord. I ask that that which I do not have and that which we do not have, Abba, Father, you will give us through your word, King of all glory. That which you are not, O Jehovah, you will cause us to be through your word, O King of all glory. And that which we do not understand, Abba, Father, we pray that you will teach us through your word, King of all glory. Take every praise, O Jehovah, in this place. Take every glory, O Jehovah, and we ask that you be the only one, O Jehovah, that has our attention. We pray this in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Uh, now, Colossians chapter 2, verse 6, uh, Paul is clear about, uh, he gives the believers, at the, the Colossian believers, uh, just a, a way of living this life. He tells them, uh, and if you know the history of the church of Nini, the Colossian church, uh, there were people that after these guys were preached to, there were people that came with doctrines, other things that, and they told them that these are the things that will sustain you. But then again, Paul comes and nullifies every other doctrine and reminds them that this is the only truth. What you have been taught from the beginning, those things that you have been taught by the people that have taught you, those are the only things that you need to hold on to. If you are to live this life, if you, if you are to live a victorious life, then there is no other doctrine apart from the doctrine that you have had. This is the only doctrine that is able to keep you. This is the only doctrine that is able to sustain you. This is the only doctrine that will be able to carry you through life in this life of salvation and to give you also an eternal reward. If you could only hold to this doctrine, then you have everything. So he tells them that as you therefore have received Christ, the Lord Jesus, so walk in him. It was, he, this instruction is very simple. He does not come and tell them now that as you have received Jesus Christ, now look for a higher truth. Or now as you have received Jesus Christ, now go dig deeper, look for something, something that is a mystery or sujit after Nini Wapi. He tells them that it's simple as you have received Jesus Christ, it's enough. 
continue to work to work in him and for me as a believer kidogo you see na kuja na kuwa challenge from ile place yeah? the easiest things to do are the easiest things not to also do you find yourself that you have been told um let's say for example the only way for me to grow as a believer is to read my bible and pray every day it's a that, that nasari song we used to sing read your bible pray every day that's the only way for me to grow as a believer but unapata that me reading the bible and praying every day sometimes ni naona ni kama um i'm not i'm not doing enough when i get outside here and ni scheme to mwingine akiongea something that has not yet been revealed to me niko ah am i even praying enough am i reading the bible enough am um sio so maje bible yake ndo anaona he content vile misi yonangi and you see unajipata in that place here am i doing enough am i really uh, am i really trying hard enough to know god but look at what paul says it's as simple as this as you have nini as you have received jesus christ continue to walk in him those simple things that you used to do those simple things that are very hard also not to keep on doing because at the moment at that moment we don't see their relevance at that moment we don't see their significance those simple things are the only things that are able to carry us and to sustain us he tells them that there is no need of looking for at finding deeper truth he tells them if you have jesus christ you have the complete package so to mean that and if you go back to the nini to colossians chapter 1 uh when paul is talking about the supremacy of christ he says that in, uh, he is before all things and in him all things consist again he says that there is not he is the nini fullness of god in in embodied in human form these are just paraphrases of what paul is talking about jesus and even a previous verse just before we get to colossians chapter 2 from verse 6 to 7 i think it's colossians chapter 2 verse 3 he says that in him are hidden all treasures of wisdom and knowledge so to mean that you having received jesus christ you have received the whole package that is able to sustain you till the very end so he he keeps reminding them that the only way for you to walk this journey till the very end continue holding on to Jesus and then he he continues and says uh, uh, to allow that to allow their roots uh, he says again that uh, so walk in him rooted and built up in him and established in the faith as you have been taught abounding in it with thanksgiving so he continues to tell them that for you to be ni kama vitu mbili different you see you are walking at the same time you are being rooted and at the same time you are doing what you are continuing you are continuing to increase in the faith like you're being built up you are you are walking you're being rooted and you're being built up so to mean that for this person if i am to meet this person yes this person is in motion right but his roots are still growing deeper and deeper each and every day and again he's being built up to something to something that is different where he was yesterday he's certainly not where he is supposed to be at that moment but where he was where he was yesterday is not the same same place that he's in today so you see that it is gradual progress it is gradual progress sometimes it might be subtle you don't even see the results you don't see anything changing but he says at the end of the of the day for you to grow you just continue continue working in him continue being rooted and continue being built up uh, and i'll just use an analogy of a building or let's say when we were building this church um at that time we had an old structure you see if because we are humans and we also we, we tend to find th- way in any easier way to do things or ways around something but you see we had to bring down the old building first for this new building to be erect to be erected and ukiangalia from that place when this thing was just a vision the end goal was just a vision high kuwa it was something that you could just see with the eyes of our spirit you will see that uh, at that time maybe it might have seemed impossible but that because unangalia lazima nyumba itolewe kwanza the old structure inatolewa and then we go deeper we dig even deeper we go deeper to the ground and then we erect a foundation a foundation yenye unapita hapo unaangalia unashindwa hii itawahi kuwa nyumba kweli but at the end of the day we have a structure that right now is the cathedral that was built from nothing so to mean that the old house had to go down first and then this one from the roots it had to be a re- to be erected so that the foundations were even stronger and the building could be able to stand and after it has stood to withstand everything that will come to uh, that will come its way so this is what paul again is telling them that for you to grow it's that simple thing continue working being rooted and you'll be co- you and god will continue building up to whatever it is that he desires you to be 
Uh, and God again in Isaiah chapter 50 from verse 10 to 11, uh, he, reminds, uh, he reminds us the believers. Uh, he tells us, uh, who among you fears the Lord, who obeys the voice of his servant, who walks in darkness and has no light? Let him trust in the name of the Lord and rely upon his God. Look, all you who candle a fire, who encircle yourselves with sparks, walk in the light of your fire and the sparks you have candled. This you shall have from my hand. You shall lie down in torment. And you see, for the first person, he says, who among you fears the Lord, but who obeys the voice of his servant, but still walks in darkness. It doesn't say who among you fears the Lord and who depart from darkness or anything. It says, but you still walk in darkness. So to mean that there is hope for this first person, that this person is looking, that if they continue looking unto God for sustenance through the journey, God is able to carry them through the journey because he says, let him lean and trust on the Lord. If you're looking unto Jesus, if you're holding on unto Jesus, he will be able to carry you through the journey. But look at what he says about the former, pa the, the latter person. He says, but woe unto you, uh, who candle, who candle a fire, who encircle yourselves with sparks, walk in the light of your fire and in your own sparks, uh, and walk in the light of your fire and in the sparks you have candled. This you shall have from my hand, you shall lie down in torment. And you see, it's, uh, the latter person is a person that, yes, has he they have every other good solution, yes, but every other good solution is not Jesus Christ. You see, he says that maybe, um, and we, uh, our pastor always tells us uh, and always teaches us about uh, a fix and a solution, that Jesus Christ is not a fix. He is the solution. So to mean that this other person just has temporary fixes, they might be good, yes. Uh, it's like playing a game of Jenga. Unato ukuchini ukieka ukuju. At some point, you know, in that game, he foundation ita kuje kwe sheki na ita dunda. No matter how built up that kanini is, that ka game is. Unajua at the end of the day, mtu atatoa kitu wapo chini, na ikitu itafanya nini? Ita dunda. Or rather, there was a game that we used to play back in primary school. It's called the stick of death. And you can be sure that that game was that, a stick of death. So, ilikuwa uneka kijiti hivi, mneyekelea kwa kamlima, kamchanga. And what could happen is, boys could come, Unatua mchanga hivi pole 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 pole. So the last person mwenyangeto yo mchanga, alafu yo kijiti ianguke. That would have been the end of them. Eh? Ange chapwa, and the game was uh, at labda ushike gari, ama ushike gate. Ile gari unambu ushike ni ule mwalimu waki kuono ukipitie yo njia, wewe kuisha. So the game of the stick of death. So uh, as we were beginning, the foundations were very firm. And we were very careful, mnaenda hivi around it, mnatoa. But so, uh, wha what we were doing to the foundation, it as, uh, nini, as the game continued, foundation yu kijiti likuwe na zidi kuweekend. And after a few, a few minutes later, the nini would fall, the stick would fall. And that person would, maybe just, maybe it's because you were young and you could not take life, but that person, if you were old right now and played that game, that person would have met his maker. So that's what, again, he's talk uh, that's the example I want to think when he's talking about this person that is li uh, trying to find their own way of salvation, trying to walk, trying to sustain themselves without Jesus Christ in their, own, in their, in their journey of salvation. That's what this person is doing. Kila siku anapata a solution, yes, but kila siku anendelea kutuwa mchanga on the stick. At the end of the day, that stick will fall. And after it has fallen, each and everything, itafanya nini? Itaribika. So it is for us believers again, the way God says that whoever is wise and who, or whoever perceives himself to be wise as Jesus taught, let him build on this rock. Which wh wh What was the rock? The rock was Jesus Christ himself. He was the chief cornerstone that whatsoever words that I have told you, if you are building on these words, you can be guaranteed Yes, storms will beat up against this house, but this house will stand. But if you are the, like the other person that is trying to build up on something else, you can be sure that you are headed for catastrophe, that what, uh, whatsoever it is that will come, maybe at the beginning, haita ku challenge Ivo sana, but at the end of the day, it will have you fallen. But that's because you're looking into something else that is not Jesus Christ as you are as your pillar or as your source of sustenance. And I want to pose a question for you as a believer. Uh, why do you do the things you do? Or rather, why do you not do the things that you don't do? Is it Jesus Christ or do you have any other solution? Let's believe as I pray. 
Mighty and everlasting Father, we thank you, King of all glory, for your word. We thank you, O Jehovah, dear Lord, that you have spoken unto us, King of all grace. We pray that you'll enable us to be doers of your word. We pray that you will speak to us, even, dear Lord, after this meeting in accents clear and still, O Jehovah, dear Lord, that our hearts will find, the, uh, will find answers in you, King of all glory, that our hearts will seek you, King of all grace, for sustenance, that our, we will put our hope and our trust in you, Jesus Christ, that you'll be our anchor, O Jehovah, dear Lord, that you will carry us through till the very end of this journey, O Jehovah. We entrust each and everything unto you, King of all glory, and we ask that it will please you to keep us in you, O Jehovah. We thank you and we honor you, and it's in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. <laughs>